Hi YouTube and uh, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a slow internet connection problems in Linux. So after you browse to a website and uh, you notice that you're having a slow internet connection, let's say for example that I go to yahoo.com and I notice that my page is loading uh, pretty slow and it takes a long time. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to try for a second website that way you can rule out the fact that um, the first website that uh, you tried was experiencing uh, problems and so you want to pick a website that uh, has plenty of images I'm going to go to msn.com and uh, now as you can see it's loading pretty fast but in a couple of days in the last couple of days um, I've been experiencing a lot of uh, slow um, uh, internet connection. So that is the first thing that you want to do. If after doing that uh, you're still experiencing uh, slow connection, um, go ahead and open one of the many um, uh, speed test website. Um, I chose to open uh, speedtest.net. I'm going to do a refresh here. And uh, you want to run a test. Um, so once, uh, once the page loads, you want to click go or start the test. And this will give you a, uh, a measurement of your download and upload speed. Uh, so this is the second step. I'm going to pause the video and I will be right back. Okay, so after performing the test, um, I noticed that uh, my download speed is uh, 2.3 uh, megabits per second which is not incredibly slow but I know that's not the speed that I'm paying for so probably uh, there is some sort of problem uh, so that's the first indication the second indication is that I'm not getting an upload speed um, so this is the second test that you want to run the third test is to open your terminal uh, head over to your terminal to your Linux terminal and now what you want to do, you want to pin a, uh, a website, a domain name, uh, one that is, again, it's very unlikely to be down. Um, so I'm going to choose google.com. And uh, one thing that I want to do here is how fast I'm getting my ping responses. And now uh, I notice that ping responses are pretty fast. Also, I want to take a look at the uh, time in milliseconds that it takes for this ping uh, to, uh, to, go, to get back to my... Uh, to my desktop. Uh, you, uh, very high um, numbers of milliseconds means, means that um, uh, the, the connection is slow. So that is the third step. Uh, the fourth step uh, uh, that you want, uh, things that you want to do is to, um, to ping your wireless router. You want to be able, at this point, you want to be able to rule out whether the connection problem that you're experiencing is inside your home or the connection problem it is out on the internet. It means that your ISP, your internet service provider, is responsible to fix that, uh, that connection problem. So in order to get your wireless router uh, IP address, do an IP route. And uh, the first line, when you say default via, this is your IP wireless router uh, IP. So this is uh, this is the, the next thing that you want to do is to ping this IP address. I'm going to do a copy and paste, Control Shift V, and press Enter. Uh, notice the difference now between my ping responses in millisecond and the ping responses that I was getting from the internet. Um, so obviously I'm getting a connection to my wireless router so that doesn't seem to be the problem uh, so the next step you want to do you want to make sure that you're getting a good uh, wireless signal so if you notice in the taskbar on the right hand side I have the uh, the connection icon so I want to uh, I want to click on it and uh, I want to make sure that I'm uh, connected to my wireless uh, router and that I have a, a strong signal. Usually it is displayed in percentage. Uh, anything above 60% usually is a good signal. Um, sometimes you get a, um, a weak signal but you still get a connection. 
If you're getting a weak signal, that means that you're probably getting intermittent uh, wireless connection. So this is the, this is the fourth step. Our fifth step, uh, another thing that you might want to try, if you can, is to uh, try to open a second browser. Uh, obviously, if you have a, a slow internet connection or no connection at all, installing another browser will be a problem. Uh, but you might you want to try to open the website in a second browser. Let's say that you're using uh, Chrome as your uh, default browser. So you might want to head over to, let's say, Firefox um, and try to open the website in that browser. Uh, if you can open the website in a second browser, you might want to close your browser and restart the browser and even uh, uh, flush the uh, on the cache on your browser and try to reopen the page. So that is the, the, the fifth step. The final step after you do that, uh, you're going to have to call your internet service provider, your ISP. Um, but at this point, you should be able to have a pretty good idea whether the connection problem it is uh, inside your home or the connection problem is out on the internet. Um, and report uh, that you are experiencing slow internet connection. And that is it. That's my um, uh, my video on how to troubleshoot and fix internet a slow internet connection. Um, I hope you find this video helpful and uh, see you in the next video.